We are doing the Katabi Indian Fest. Indian Fest. All right. Yeah, right now we're having a picnic at Lime Burger Park. Yeah. And then we're going to head down the road here to Shield Museum. Wow. Well, and they're having a Katama Indian Festival. Yep, so it looks like this is for the Katama Indians who are based out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. They're about 20, 30 minutes away from here. Um, but they partner with the Shield Museum and they've set up demonstrations and we just want to check it out and learn something about uh, local history. Yeah, should be fun. They're going to have dancing, pottery making, and you can tour the village and storytelling. So we're going to go check it out and... <laughs> We'll see you when you get there. Yeah. Should be cool. Bye. Bye. All right, so we're going to head towards the Catawba Village. We'll go check on the pigs in a little bit. Pretty raw, do you remember? The dancing. The dancing. The dancing will happen again at 3.30. So we've still got a little over an hour for that. But in between, they're supposed to be doing storytelling. And they'll be doing the pottery demonstrations and those kind of things in between all day long. So what you find dude? You ever seen these before? Yeah. No. No. You want to tell you a little bit about them? Okay. This is uh, the cross right here. See what this is made out of? Can you guess? I'm Pass it one more time and let it think it is? Deer skin. That right there is made out of deer skin. Have you ever felt deer skin before? You have now. Right. It feels like the stuff that's on it under water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, when she throws it. <laughs> Be easier on your throws, Maddie. Yeah, Drake, the object is not to hit the poor oh, spectators. <laughs> <laughs> Either he'll barely throw it or he will, like, chunk it. <laughs> all right, try to aim it towards one of them. Maybe towards her. Little toss. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to duck. <laughs> I don't see how they play this. We play at a summer camp with the uh, Back up a little bit, brother. Yeah, we have a summer camp where we're from and they play this game in the summer. Oh! That's why it hurt, Tommy. I know, but it's kind of not that. Nice! Da da da! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, sure, right. This is not what I was thinking of. This is always close. Yeah. That one's a little lower. Notice? Mm -hmm. Different sides. Different sides. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you have to ask, you sir. Easy. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Thank it's you. Well <laughs> it's straight through. So this is the same as what's on here. Fill it. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that's rawhide. Yeah. Do you have a dog? Yeah. Does he eat rawhide toys? Sometimes. He yeah. has chewies. Sometimes. Chewies. That's what he's eating. Cool. It's just thicker for him and like kind of probably braided yeah. or you know. They're all. They're well, they like could still eat rawhide. And this. Is the same as this. Look, Feel isn't the that difference? cool? Yeah. See. And this, this is this, but wet. All right. This so after it's been made wet, it yeah. turns into this, right? Yep. Yep. And they, to make it soft, they treat it with deer brains. Ooh. <laughs> and then, if you wanted to make some clothing out of it, you would smoke it. Hmm. And it becomes waterproof. Well, you know, Ooh. where it's not going to shrink and sure. turn into rawhide. Um. And then they would use these deer toes. Oh, yeah. Deer yeah. toes and bone. Cool. And then this is called a flesher. And they would take it and they would, this is how they got the flesh off of the hide. Cool. So you're right, Ross. This is normally closed. This I have been never been into this been to that I remember. For 30 years. But I'll show you in a So they have recreated a village here. Pretty awesome stuff. Thank you.
Bark House is pretty awesome. I wonder how they kept the house from burning. Whoa, here we go. Well, this is pretty cool, isn't it? No, I don't think there are any bees nest. Okay, I'm afraid. Should I be? No. No, it's pretty cool in here. Oh. It's a 17th, 18th century townhouse. Did you see that? No. Mm -hmm. So this is a townhouse. Is that supposed to be a there. mask or something? It is. Some kind of mask. Yeah. There's no bees. I don't see any spiders or bees. See any? Nope. Just got a light to the head. Light during the day. Under the fire pier. So the, the smoke, smoke could get out, out too. That's pretty cool. Getting to that. It's getting there. So yeah, Mr. I built with the central smoke hole. You wanna go in and check it out? It's cool, isn't it? What fire? The storyteller is over there in the middle of the story. Awesome. You wanna check a story out in a few minutes, Jerry? Isn't this cool? Whoa. And they called this a central smoke hole. It was the first ones in the 1760s to have these, but I guess it's another name for a chimney. Yeah, I guess it's like a yeah. more modern fireplace. Because right? that looks different than what we saw in the other house where it literally was just a hole above the fire pit. Let's go out. Hang on. It's pretty cool. Okay, so by 1850, most have returned to the old reservation near Rock Hill. This is circa 1860, so about 100 years after the other one was built, okay? That makes it a little bit more like what we would have worked in back then, sort of, too. Do you think maybe they got some of their ideas from the English? Exactly, there are beds, even, he says. And he was yep. able to eat on them. This That's right. Like it's Changed a new structure lot, for it? here. Because I'm pretty sure they didn't have electricity, but it is nice to be able to Yeah, I don't think that was there. I think there, I think there really was electricity. <laughs> no. Nah. But it is nice to be able to see everything. I do. They had beds. Cool. Baskets. You could charm butter over there. Smoke alarm. Pretty cool. Smoke alarm? <laughs> it's up there. Look at the Look at the This is the Stone Age Heritage site. This is the part that's always open. This is what I was talking about. Drake has actually tried to crawl in here before, and it's quite scary considering it's a burial mound. <laughs> but now you see my fear. No, do not. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.